Hey, I'm William. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the internal drain hose on a Maytag washer. You might need to change out this part if it failed testing or has been damaged. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. In today's video, we are going to need channel locks, a flathead screwdriver, a towel, and a quarter inch nut driver. While you're getting those together, remember to keep safety first. Always turn off and unplug your appliance before you do any work on it to protect yourself from electric shock, which can potentially cause serious injuries. Don't forget to turn off your water supply and unscrew your hoses from the washer. You might need a towel handy to clean up any unwanted water. To remove the drain hose, you need to take your channel lock pliers and squeeze the clamp down. Then you should be able to see a quarter inch screw that needs to be removed. There's a tab just above the internal drain hose that will need to be pressed down and pushed in. Now we can tilt the washer to access the other side of the internal drain hose. So this can be seen in the best way, I'm going to lay the washer on its back. You may want to have your towel here to catch any unwanted water. We're going to use the channel lock pliers to remove the retaining ring up the internal hose just a bit. Now we can disconnect the hose from the drain pump. With this done, we can install the new hose, and when pressing the bracketing end into the washer wall, we want to make sure we give it a firm press so that it locks in place. Once the washer is lifted back up, go to the back and pull the internal drain hose through. Make sure the bracket is still clipped. There is a quarter inch screw you need to reinstall on the top to hold it in place. Once that's finished, connect your drain hose. Don't forget to plug your washer back in, connect the water hoses, and turn your water supply back on. You made it. Great job and thanks for joining us today. Make sure to let us know how the repair went in the comments. And if you haven't gotten a replacement drain hose yet, grab your model number and head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to order one. Orders usually arrive in just a few days. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more troubleshooting and repair videos and of course, all the parts you need to do it yourself at AppliancePartsPros.com. Thanks for your support and we'll see you next time.